For our next video in our three commas focused passive income series, we're going to be talking about DCA bots or dollar cost average bots. And what is a dollar cost average bot? It starts a position for you in a specific coin, like let's say BTC. And it's going to buy at certain levels and then take profit at certain levels. And you set all of those levels. So let's dive into dollar cost bots and see what options they provide you. Okay, so the first thing we can do here is we can go to our paper trading account. Now, why would we use a paper trading account? Well, we want to test our strategies before we start using real money. And the cool thing also is that you can see how your bots perform over time. So let's go to our paper trading and create a bot. So we can see here when I go and create a bot, it's gonna show me my balance of the base currency, which in this case is Bitcoin. And you're gonna have a choice here between simple and composite. Simple trades a single pair, composite trades across multiple pairs. So decide whether your strategy is going to work for maybe just one token, or maybe you want to do this across many tokens. So first, let's try setting up a simple bot. We're gonna do it with BTC, USDT. We're going to go long and base order size is when it opens the trade, what do you want the order size to be? So let's say we wanna do $200. And for each safety order, I'm gonna do $100. Now this is not a recommendation. Always test your strategies before you use them in your real account and we want to buy using limit orders. Deal start condition. So a deal, again, is a single trade. And so maybe we want to use QFL. QFL will buy when there's quick moves down and sell when there's quick moves up. And here we can set our take profit. We can also start our condition with either a custom signal, another signal like block party, which we showed you before, TBT. You can use RSI or other indicators if you choose. There are unlimited ways to open deals. So here is our take profit. And again, we want to make sure that we test this. So I'm just gonna set this at two. So we wanna take 2% profit from each of our trade. And we can also set a trailing. What this will do is when we reach 2%, it will set a stop loss at minus 0.2%. So once we reach 2%, if it drops 0.2%, sell it. If it keeps going up, move up that 0.2%. So if we're at 3%, then the stop will be at 2.8. And the stop will just sell and take profit. We can also set a stop loss. Now many have said that um, stop losses are difficult in this market because of how much volatility. If your strategy calls for a stop loss, you can set a stop loss. And in certain cases, you want to protect your account. Absolutely, it makes sense to set a stop loss. And maybe you want to set it at minus 10%. And when that stop loss occurs, we can close the deal or 
close the deal and stop the bot. So don't open any new deals. Now we're going to talk about safety orders. A safety order is used to average down. So if it drops, the price of the asset drops, we're going to buy more so that we can bring the average down and protect ourselves in the case of downside and also potentially get even more profits when it goes back up. So here we can see price deviation to open safety orders. So here it's going to be, if it drops 1%, it's going to start the first safety order. And you'll see here that there's safety order volume scale. So if I set this to two, the second safety order will be two times at 200 USDT. And the third will be 400 USDT. Safety order step scale will determine how far we go down on each safety order. So maybe you want to double the width after each safety order. So the first one is gonna be 1%, then it goes down another 2% and four and so on. And of course, as you can see here, it's warning me that the stop loss should be below the last safety order, which in this case, it looks to be 31%. That's a lot of protection, and that is the great thing that you can do with safety orders. Now there's more advanced settings. Don't start the deal if the volume is less than a certain amount. Minimum price to open deal. This is better for your simple bots where it's on a single pair. And maybe you want to delay the time between each deal that is open. So you can use that as well. And here we're going to click create bot. And we can choose to start the bot now. The bot is turned on and we can see any open deals. So next let's take a look at open deals. So by clicking on this my deals sub tab on the left we can see current deals or trades that are open. So here you're going to see that this bot opened a trade on Ravencoin and the buy was here at 23 cents. This blue marker that you see here is the next safety order. So if it drops down to that point, we will buy more and average, bring our average down. This TTP here you see is going to be our take profit. So when we reach that level, it's going to close the deal, sell our Raven coin and take the profit. So while we're looking at deals, you're going to see on the bottom here, there's a number of things we can do to manage this deal. One thing we can do is we can click close at market price and it'll show you the profit and loss here. So we're not going to do that because we want the bot to close all the deals on its own, right? We don't want to have to manage it ourselves, hence passive income. We can also edit the deal. So the thing that I normally do is I would add a safety trade. So if we've dropped below the last safety trade, we can bump this number up by one and it will take another trade to bring our average down. Now it's a little more advanced way to manage your red deals, your deals that drop. You can also add funds. So you can buy at the current price 
through either a limit or market order and you can choose the amount of volume that you want to add to your position. Lastly, on these options here, you can also convert it to a smart trade. So maybe you say, you know what? I really like Ravencoin. I want to hold this position and I want to manage a position in Ravencoin. So now it's going to convert it here to a trade and we can set take profit, we can set a stop loss. And this helps us organize our portfolio a little bit better if we want to do something outside of the bot. Last thing I want to show you before we close this video out is that you can go back to the DCA bot tab on the left and we can see active deals. We can see if the bot is enabled with this green button here. We can also click on the bot and see what the performance is. So here I have a bot that I wanted to test. We can see the profit for each day. So this is a paper trading bot and it's getting about two to 3% per day. This is going to help us decide which bots we want to run and when. And again, you can just track the performance over time. This is a really great way to change up your strategy every now and then. That's all for now on DCA bots. If you guys do have any questions, drop them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. It means a lot to us. If you found this content helpful, smash that like button and leave us a comment down below. You can take part in all our research and analysis by joining us on our Discord community. The link is in the description below. And catch us live on our Stereo Podcast, Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings for viewer Q&A. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.